you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Looking to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Here we go now. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And he fires one, but incomplete. I'm not sure we can spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. the field goal Bailey will kick it away this is fielded a couple yards deep and he's able to get it across the 20 but not by much as he's marked down at the 21 yard line now whistles and we've got a man down a man down here following the kickoff while the training staff works on him we'll step aside and be right back sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Tenth carry for Johnson. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. All right, here we go. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. So here we go, first and ten now. Tight is All right, here we go. Three, ah! He'll look to throw. Dumping it off for Johnson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. 
And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. But anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Back to throw now on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. They're going to look to throw. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Craig Robertson coming with pressure. He drops him on the blitz for a loss of 12. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The Cardinals on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and a mile. They'll look to throw, and he hits on the slant route to Marshall. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They run the counter now on first down. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That good for 22 at a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. All right, here we go. Boom, land it. Now they'll run it on the taunts. And some space here. He chucks him aside. Dumped him. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. All right, here we go. Three, nine, now Elliott. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. 
Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third right, guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. From the four, it's second and goal. They'll try again with Elliott. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. And this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's the fullback. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. And he puts it through. So the drive there took six plays, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick this one away. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Cardinal offense coming back out. Let's give you a look at the playoff race now. This is end of the weekend in the NFC as we take a look at the playoff picture and certainly a lot of jostling still to go in these final few weeks. For the moment, they would be a wild card team far from locked up, but that's why this is exciting. These last few weeks, a lot to play for. Yeah, exciting for us because we get to talk about it and, you know, at the end of the day, six teams are going to go from each conference and guess what? We're going to have a playoff. But nerve-wracking for all the people involved, all the teams, because their goal is to get there. And anything less than that makes the season a disappointment. So this is, they've got to be primed now for a big finish to their season. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now a handoff, Johnson. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. The Cardinals on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and seven. Now back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll look to throw now on first down. Man open left side is Brown. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll look to throw here on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Marshall. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Red zone opportunity. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. Well, this defensive pressure. 
pressure's been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent.